Hi, I'm Thomas Larsen, and right now I'm preparing for the PBA tour in January. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I'm preparing to go out on tour. So the PBA tour starts in the middle of January, and I'm going to be gone for about two and a half months, bowling tournaments pretty much every week, uh, bowling close to every day. Uh, everything from majors to regionals and everything in between. So it's going to be really exciting, but I also need to be ready and sharp when I go over there. So I have about a, about a month to sharpen my physical game tools, uh, get my mind mentally sharp, get in a good physical shape, uh, and really get prepared for, uh, for all the big tournaments there. It's a really important trip, a lot of money, a lot of titles on the line, and um, I, but at the end of it, I have to uh, try to defend my USB-C Masters. So uh, it's going to be really exciting. And in this video, I'm going to show you a little bit about what I'm working on physically to try to get better and try to get ready to uh, go over there. To become more competitive on the PBA Tour, I'm basically working on four different things in my physical game. Uh, two of them I would call changes and two I would more call improvements or slight modifications uh, where, where it's not as much a, a change but more improving a little bit on some areas that are already okay. So the first change I'm working on is trying to get my push away a little shorter, a little quicker and a little get the ball into the swing a little sooner. This is because I feel like a lot of my bad shots come from me hanging on to the ball a little longer in the push away and um, that delays my timing and everything kind of goes out of sync a little bit. I'm trying to uh, shorten the, the push away a little bit, get everything going a little bit quicker and it creates a little more flow and a little, little easier transition from the beginning of the approach to the end. So, as you can see, um, it's quite a bit quicker and, and shorter my push away. And that's quite a big change, but it's, it requires quite a lot of practice, but it's feeling better every day. So I'm confident that I'm going to have it uh, pretty well down by the time I, I go to the States. So the second change I'm working on is trying to decrease the rotation and the movement of my left arm, my balance arm. Basically what I'm trying to do is uh, removing some of the over rotation, especially on the bad shots from my left side of the, of the body, which forces um, my swing out of its swing plane, which puts my hand in a, in a, a weaker spot and just in general makes it a little more random what I do at the bottom with my direction and my release. So I'm trying to, to keep my left arm more still, keep it a little more in front of me and not uh, rotate as far back, which hopefully will allow me to play the angles I want to play a little easier, make my shots a little more consistent from shot to shot, and just in general put my hand in a little stronger position at the bottom of the swing. And you can see it's, it's quite a big change, um, especially feel-wise, uh, with how much I'm trying to decrease the movement, but it's, it's getting better and I'm not trying to get it completely perfect, I just want, um, I just want the bad shots to not be as influenced by the left uh, arm as they are right now. If you want to get all my videos about the PBA Tour and follow how I'm doing, then make sure you subscribe to Emacs Bowling here on YouTube and follow Emacs Bowling and me on social media. So that was the two big changes I'm trying to make. Those require a lot of practice, uh, but the next two small improvements here is something that I'm working on a little bit, but 
it's not nearly as uh, as much as I work on the other two. The first one is trying to exaggerate my knee bend when I practice. Basically, when you get older, the legs start to be a little stiffer, they, be, they become a little weaker. Um, when you ball a lot of games and a lot of days in a row, legs might get a little stiff, might get a little tired, might get a little sore. So all of this means that you're gonna have less knee bend uh, subconsciously and I'm trying to counteract that by exaggerating what I'm trying to do in practice so when I go out and ball and I don't focus on my knee bend I still get down to to the good spot I want to be in um, even though my legs might be tired and you can see when you see the videos here that it's not a, a big change it's just something where I try to be a little bit lower feel like I'm using my legs a little bit more and I hopefully that works itself into my game to where on the good days I'm lower than normal on the um, and on the bad days um, I'm still getting about the same where I would normally be so the last little thing I'm working on is actually in my release. A few years ago, I got a really good piece of advice from Rick Benoit, the founder of Ball U, and he told me to work the circumference of the ball, meaning that your fingers should go from the from underneath the ball to the very top of the ball and the release. So you create this really long rolling motion with the wrist. And I'm trying to implement that into my game and into my, my release. Uh, to really get this long rolling motion uh, throughout my release basically creating uh, more wrist action and creating a longer flat spot uh, which it changes my my roll a little bit changes my axis rotation a little bit but I feel like it, it allows my thumb to come out the ball more consistently and it, um, it allows me to control the mid lane better so um, basically it's it's about creating more consistency from shot to shot and from day to day and again also uh, making sure that when I'm bowling bad that all of these small like where you start squeezing your wrist might get a little stiff or whatever that I'm counteracting that so that even the bad shots get a little bit better and uh, I'm not sure you can even tell in the video here uh, what I'm doing different but to me it's big uh, difference in the feel of how I feel my wrist is moving and how much I feel like my wrist is collapsing in the release so it's it might be more of a feel thing but it's definitely something I see a difference in when I when I do it count uh, so so again about making everything more consistent and making it a little bit better from day to day and shot to shot I'm working on right now to get a little more consistent and a little more competitive out on the PPA tour and most of all getting ready to uh, try to defend this trophy in April so if you want to see more about my preparations I'm gonna do more videos about that in the coming uh, weeks here and of course all the videos I'm gonna do from the PPA tour when I get over to the USA Make sure you subscribe to Emacs Bowling, give this video a like, throw in a comment if you have any questions, and uh, I'll see you in the next one where I'll be drilling some bowling balls. Mm -hmm.